Hey, this is Josh Glenn back with another lecture on how to build a fully mobile responsive website for your business or client in less than an hour. And I knew I'd start doing this once I started looking at pictures on Dollar Photo Club. I knew I'd find a bunch that I really liked. And uh, sure enough, I found another one that I want to change this, uh, this one out to. And uh, so bear with me for a second. And I'm going to show you just um, right quick. I'll move this over so you can see it. I'm going to change this out. Or why don't we go ahead and add another slide? We'll do that. So remember when you add a slide to your slider, click edit. We'll remove this and save it. And um, actually, I'll tell you what, I'm not going to add another slide. Um, I'm going to go ahead and edit this one out because I'm not as intrigued by this one. So, um, so we're going to click background and we will upload an image. And what I found was this really cool um, yellow sports car that I'm going to upload. I'll call him Yellow Boy. We'll see how this looks. Ooh, that looks really cool. All right, so click Save. Um, and now my slider image changes from the red Lamborghini to the bright yellow, whatever that is. Um, so anyway, that's uh, just an option, and you know, once you start playing with photos, I think you'll see that you'll uh, start finding some that you like. So the next section, I'm going to show you how to add a photo gallery to your website. So um, we're going to go ahead and click um, Add New Link, or I'm sorry, Add New Section, and you can see that we already have the Home and the About Us section done. So that's what we've done so far. So what I'm going to do is um, click Add Section and scroll down till you find a photo gallery. All right, so this is a photo gallery, and you see it has a light box, which I'm going to show you what that means in a second. So um, let me move this over so you can see everything here. There we go. All right, we're going to add gallery. All right, now um, in the gallery section, you don't want it to be called gallery, or maybe maybe you do, maybe your client's okay with that, but um, I tend to like to call this something like our work or our products or something like that. And so I'm gonna save that, so that's gonna appear in the menu as our work. And I'll change this text out to read our work as well. Click save. And we can say check out some of our projects below. Click Save. And then what you want to do is you can add images, you can add video. For this, I'm just going to add images. And I'll show you how to add a video in another section. It looks really cool too, but we're going to go ahead and click um, Edit to add these, these images. And what I recommend in the, when you're doing this is to um, go ahead and get some sample design work. Create a folder for some sample design work with pictures that you want to include. That way when you're ready to do this, it makes it a whole lot easier to just go in and upload these uh, photos from one folder rather than searching a bunch of different folders. So just a preference, and you, you can certainly do it how you want, but I would um, look at doing something like this because it makes it, it'll make it a lot easier on you. So you go back to your website and click Edit, and click Replace. And then you're just going to drag the files that you want to add. So maybe we add this one first uh oh upload failed so it says you can only use a gif jpeg png bmp etc so you need to check uh, what file type you're gonna be uploading so obviously you didn't like that one so um, we'll go ahead and add another one in here that I know is gonna work alright so that's there and um, once you upload the photo click edit and add a description so we could call this Facebook uh, add design and then that's also going to be what what you see when you hover over it so when you look at um, my uh, actual website when you hover over something that's what you're going to see so um, I'm going to go through and I'm going to add these and I'll, uh, I'll I'll spare you the well we'll do one more so um, let's replace this one and drag to upload a file I'm going to go ahead and do website that I've been working on and so there is the website so 
I don't really like the looks of that though. That kind of doesn't look as good as I thought. So I'm going to remove that and um, we'll replace that with something else and I'll figure out why that's not making me very happy. So anyway, but so basically the process is the same for all of these items in the gallery. So I'll go through and I'll upload these and I'll be back to show you a sample once I'm done uploading. I mean you can see how it looks. And so once you upload something, click edit and just change it out to read the description to read whatever you want. So website design, click save and I'll be back as soon as I have all these changed out so you can see how a gallery looks. Okay, so now I'm back with uh, added some photos to this photo gallery. Oh, looks like I got one of the same, so we'll just delete that one. Alright, so um, once you get your photos in the photo gallery, you can um, you know, drag and drop if you want to move these around. So if you want this one up here, you can move it. It's very easy. You can see how you can do all of these changes and uh, make this look really good. So um, that's just some, some ways to drag and drop your photos to make them look different. Now you can add video to this section, but uh, my recommendation would be to do, if you have a video that you've done for somebody or the client has a video that they want featured, is to do it in another section. So I'll show you that. Well, let's go ahead and save our work and then we're going to click keep editing because we're not done but I want to take a minute to preview this so you can kind of see how the gallery is going to look so it's going to pull up the preview screen and you're going to see of course uh, our our slider images at the top and you can scroll through and there's our oop, I went to change rotate on us so there's our yellow car so that's pretty cool looking um, you got the why us section or the about us section and then you got the our work section so then you can see that these um, ads come up where I added a cover where I added a description where I showed you how to add a description you'll see the description this is what it looks like without a description so uh, I didn't realize how much better it looked with one so I'd go in and add one to all of these but um, and then when you click on this it's going to bring up a light box so you're going to be able to scroll through so this is actually how it's going to show up on your um, when it's live so anyway that's kind of what it looks like so you can add all of your projects in here and that's how you create a work gallery then you can check it and see on a tablet how it's going to look this is where it's really cool too because on a tablet this is going to look um, it's going to look good. It's going to pop up. It also pops up uh, on a phone as well and it looks really good like this. When you click that it'll pop up and cover the entire screen on a phone uh, or on a tablet or a phone. So anyway so that's how the preview looks and one of the things that I'm noticing is I don't really like that this white space leads directly into this white space. Um, so I, I think that we're going to need to put something in between here that kind of breaks that up. Just my opinion um, so I'm going to show you how to do that. I'll show you how to do that in the next lecture. So uh, anyway, that is how you create a gallery. Uh, it's that easy literally to drag and drop stuff and to come back in and add if you decided you wanted to add some artwork, to come back in and add some additional artwork and uh, show people what, you know, what kind of work your company does. Uh, this is a great way to do it. So thanks for watching this. Check out the next video and I'll show you how to not only fix this, but then we'll also go in and, uh, and add a video section. So thanks for watching.